Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence? Um, introduce yourself. My name is Dr. Math. Hold on, stop. And how old are you, Dr. Math? I am seven years old. Seven. Seven. About to be eight. When are you going to be? No, not eight yet. Yeah, you're going to be eight next year. So you're seven years old, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, today, um, before we go on, let me ask you a few questions, okay? How many feet in the yard? How many feet in the yard? That will be three. Okay. And how many teaspoons in a tablespoon? Three. Okay. How many or how many um how many days in a week? How many days in a week? Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. And how many um uh, quarts? In a, in a gallon? That eight. Eight. Okay. And how many pints in a gallon? Eight. Okay. Let me ask you another question. How many quarters in a dollar? Four. Correct. And... Okay, so... Oh, let's try this one. Okay. Alright. Okay. How many pints in a quart? Great. And what will we be teaching the public today? Public solving the solving the unknown in conversion. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Twenty-seven feet. Twenty. Equal blank yards. Okay. So let's, let's let's zoom in a little bit closer so people see what we what you wrote. Read read that for me. Okay, so how would you solve that? First, yes, I know. Go ahead. First, you're just gonna put an equal right here. Okay. Up above this. Okay. And then you're gonna put, you're gonna say, how many feet in the yard? Okay. But yeah, well, I understand you, understand, but you need to show the public how you come with that. Go ahead. No, no, not yet. You don't want to. You don't want to solve that yet. Okay. So I mean, it's the okay. So okay. So twenty-seven right there, right? And then, and what? What? What's your next? What's your next? Next? Oh, um. Oh yeah, yes, yes, you are. Okay, but what you, what you need to do? Three. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Three. Three there. Uh -huh. And then put. You can put any kind of a letter there, like a D or an A. A lower case D? Uh, yeah. Okay, why, okay, what's the D represents? D represents, um, so, um, nothing. The unknown? Yeah, the unknown. Oh, so it represents, because right now we don't know, we know that it's 27, we know it's 27 feet, and we know that there's three yards to, uh, there's three yards. To and, uh, yeah, three, I mean, there's, 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 there's three feet to a yard. Yeah. Okay, there's three feet to a yard. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do three times what equals twenty-seven. Okay. So we're gonna do three. We're gonna think what three times twenty-seven. Three times what equals twenty-seven. Yeah. And what's the answer? That the answer will be nine. Yeah, so 
So, so, okay, so Zeke was nine. Mm -hmm. so, so, 27 feet equals nine yards. So, it's another way of saying nine times three equals? Nine, nine times three equals 27. Awesome. Okay, let's try another one. Erase that, sir. Okay, here's another one. Um, I'll help you do this one. Um, that's not. Okay. 40. Let's see. Uh, let's hold on. Hold on, give me a second. Um, I should have had this ready before you did this. Okay. 36 quarts equals how many gallons? Quartz. You need help spelling quartz or you got it? Well, almost, almost, almost. But just quartz. Quartz. You know, get okay. Quartz. Almost there. If you have it, keep the R. Quartz. Quartz. Okay, with a, is it a plural? Yes. Okay. Um, 36 quarts equals how many gallons? What equals what? Gallons. Lungs. Uh, Gallons, correct. Okay, 36 quarts equals how many gallons? So help, help us. So what? How, how would you? How many? So first, what we need to know is how many quarts in a gallon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how many quarts in a gallon? Oh, that would be four. Four. four how, how much? A four. Okay, go ahead. And Something another. Let's try two more examples. Okay. Uh, maybe two or three more. Two more, maybe three. I don't know. Um, let's see. Twenty-four quarters. 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 Just like quarts, but you. Twenty-four quarters. Quarters. Just like quarts. Quarters. Qua. Yes, good. Uh, quarters. Just like quarters. Just like quarts. Four. Let me see. So far. Okay, now. Four. Four. No, okay. Let's erase the, the R and the T. Okay, now. Four. Uh, uh. Uh, what do you hear? Uh, uh, uh. 
is it? A. Uh. Okay. Qua. A. Uh. T. 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 Qua. Er. Er. Okay. Let's then E R. It would be an uh, E R. You get. You want your. Okay. Quarter. Quarters. No, why are you putting a T there? Quarters. Quarters. 24 quarters equal how many dollars? I mean, 24 quarters equals blank dollars. 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 All right. What else? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now you, you're missing something. Dollars. Uh, dollars. You keep hearing you. I don't know why you keep hearing you. That's not you. Dollar. Uh, 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 uh. Again. What's up? What sound does uh make? Okay, then why you have you then? Good. Okay, so 24 quarters equal how many dollars? How do you say? Okay, how, no, no, okay, so why, how do you come? Four what? Four equals how many? Dollars. Okay, so four quarters equals one dollar, right? Okay, go ahead. No, no way. Okay, wait, wait. Before you put 24, okay, so whatever you want to do. I mean, to me, first you, you want to start with put an equal sign. Yeah, you can put an equal sign. Neither, please. Neither. Put an equal sign right here and then put Try not to put the four too close to the Y. Give it more space. Okay. I mean to the equal sign, because you need space. Four. Mm -hmm. And then you want a Y. You want a Y? Okay. Okay, so now what's... So we're going to do four, four times what equals 24. I don't think the readers could understand that. Okay. 
but you need to make it clearer than that. I can't see it in the camera, so obviously. Okay, you forgot something. Quartz. Quartz. Erase. Quartz. Erase the R. Nala. Okay, now think about it. I mean, you, you, the R was right. The right R was correct. I'm sorry. My apology. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Quartz. Okay, you got it. You got it. That's right. That was correct. Okay. We have to we'll, By the time we finish this project, you'll learn how to spell quartz correctly. Okay. 14 pints equals how many quarts? So how many pints are in a quart? And how many pints in a quart? You didn't answer my question. Oh, how many pints in a quart? How many pints in a quart? That will be... Two, okay, two pints in a quart, okay. Too close, please. Give it space, please. Put it right here. Mm -hmm. And put, put the edge right here. Okay. So we're going to do two times what equals 14. Okay, two times. And oh. that will be seven. Okay. Can you read the whole sentence for me? 14 pints equals 7 quarters. Huh? Quarters. Correct. So, so, so this is awesome. You, you're getting it. You're understanding it. I mean, you're in second grade doing this kind of work. I'm pretty impressed. Um, um, you know, you learned your multiplication, which is awesome. I mean, you know you, you're mastering your multiplication. Just not memorizing it, which is awesome. I think you're doing a very good job. I'm very proud of you. Let's give yourself a clap of hands. And say bye to the audience. Bye. Have a great summer. Or uh, have a great day. I know. Have a great holiday. Holiday. Bye.